Welcome back to the 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Football Media Day here in Norfolk, Virginia. I almost feel like this group needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions are here. 2017 undefeated, let's say that again, undefeated HBCU Mid-East Athletic Conference champion, North Carolina A&T. Let me get a little Aggie pride on three for that, fellas. One, two, three. Aggie, Aggie pride. pride. <laughs> Out of pride there. And, uh, I would say that joining me right now is quarterback Lamar Raynard and defensive back Jamal Darden. Quarterback, I'm going to skip you. I normally don't do this. I normally go offense <laughs> first. Everybody knows I've been doing it. But one thing about A&T that's been consistent, and y'all lived by it, and y'all proved it, defense wins championships. Y'all got a championship defense. Can you keep it up this upcoming year now? that your defensive coordinator, Sam Washington, has been elevated to the head coaching position. Do y'all keep that championship defensive streak alive? Oh, of course. You know, um, winning football games is all about minimizing mistakes, and all our defense do is try to minimize mistakes and stay disciplined. That sounds easy. That sounds easy. But the one thing that y'all do, and I've always wanted to know, you don't have to give away your secret, but y'all do the best job I've seen in any school of making a team one-dimensional. Y'all, there's no running game against y'all. It's like they're wasting their time when they run the football. Does that something that y'all take across the board, even from the defensive secondary to the front seven? Oh, of course. But, you know, our front seven always holds it down. How do you hold it down? Like I said, being disciplined, just staying in their gaps. Who y'all missing? Like, I remember when you said, like, big raglan there and you had all the guys there. You know, then you've been filling in the, filling the gaps with everything. Who's going to help you out this year defensively that's going to stand up, maybe a name we don't know from the past that you think can be an impact player on defense for you? Um, I think everybody that's on the I knew you was going to say all of them. <laughs> you going to say all of them. Uh, you know what? When you go undefeated and you play defense the way you can say whatever you want, Jamal. I ain't messing with you. Uh, quarterback, let's talk to you. Yes, sir. Tell you all an interesting statistic about Lamar Raynard. <laughs> he has never lost a game as a college starting quarterback. I was pretty good. McNair was pretty good. Doug Williams pretty good. Nobody <laughs> can say they've never lost a game in college as a starting quarterback. What's been the key to your success? Uh, it's really uh, nothing special about me. My team and I, we just go out you know, each and every week and try to produce, and, and that's about it. When you look at it, you had Tariq Cohen. Yes, sir. You know, y'all were run first team, and probably rightfully so. But you had some games where you exploded. And we saw the emergence of your wide receiver, Elijah Bell. Y'all became one of the most feared passing combinations out there. What do you got in store for us in 2018? Uh, we have a lot of weapons this year. Uh, we have, you know, Elijah Bell. You know, we have a lot of uh, receivers on the outside as well. Maya Bonds, you know, Ron Hunt, uh, Malik Wilson. Uh, he averaged, Malik Wilson averaged like 28 yards per, uh, per catch last year. So, uh, you know, I think we'll do well this year. Uh, I know we anticipate that. And that's what we want to do. Let's make sure we're, your microphone is not. How's he doing on the microphone? I hate to do it in the middle of coverage there, but are we having sound Still issues on. with the microphone? But we'll try and correct it if we can. Uh, all right. So that so that being said, when you, when you talk about A and T, and we were talking a little bit off camera, how special is it representing your conference and winning the Celebration Bowl? Uh, it feels good to be, you know, the best in the conference uh, uh, last year. And then just going uh, to Atlanta, you know, representing our conference as well, you know, winning that, you know, playing against a great SWAC uh, Grambling team. You know, it was, a, it was a dog fight the whole game. And uh, we just came out, you know, with a victory. And, you know, we're, we're very thankful for that. Jamal, what's it like to play against that Grambling team and, and Devontae Kincaid, Martez Carter, those guys there? What would you learn from now? Uh, stay on your feet. <laughs> well, now, nah, well, they're, they're, you know, Grambling is really historic, and it was just a blessing to play him. It was a blessing to come out with the win. Oh, gotcha. So when we talk about upcoming year, y'all start off the season going down to Alabama, taking on a uh, top five ranked team in Jacksonville State in Montgomery. What's your mindset going to be going in there? What, what are y'all thinking about as you prepare to go into that game there in Montgomery? With uh, watching uh, Jacksonville State on film, they're, they're a great team. Uh, defensively, uh, they're sound. You know, they're fast. And so we just have to go down there. And we have to you – know, we can't make any mistakes. We have to, you know, play our game and, you know, play fast. And I feel like we'll do well. If we play, you know, anti football, we'll do well. And, and do you go in that mindset almost like you did with the Celebration Bowl where a little bit bigger than you? You know, you're representing your conference. You're oh. representing your school. You're representing your conference, trying to get some respectability for the, for the MEAC. Y'all going to go down there and you compete with those boys? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, sir. I feel like we're going to go down there and handle our business, you know, represent, like you said, the MEAC, and then, you know, represent, you know, North Carolina A&T. 
Fortunately, you know, you guys got the longest win streak in the country. So <laughs> if y'all keep that momentum going, that should be good things for you. Uh, Sam Washington, you know, well, I'm a, we got to do this. Why don't you pay homage to Coach Broadway? What, what did playing for Coach Rob Broadway mean to you all, and how was he able to affect your lives? Well, um, You're a defensive guy, so he loved defensive <laughs> players. <laughs> uh, uh, one thing with Coach Broadway um, – that probably sets uh, himself away from other coaches. Like, he really cared about you. Of course he cared about football, but he wants you to have a better life, be, do good in school, and, you know, be good on the field. So, What are you going to miss about Coach just, Broadway? Just picking back to what uh, Jamal said, like, anything that you needed off the field, you know, he had you. Uh, he looked out, you know, in a very special way. And, you know, he coached you uh, on the field. And just he wanted, to be, wanted you to be a better man, you know, at the end of the day. And, and Coach Washington comes in, and what do we expect from Coach Washington? How's that transition been? Um, a lot of juice, you know, in practice, uh, you can tell uh, he's what, fired what up. What do you mean by juice? Oh, he's fired up every day, you know, in practice. And, uh, you know, I, I joke with him all the time because, you know, he's a defensive guy too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said, well, now, Coach, you have to be 50-50. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to get the defense, you know, when we make a big play, he has to cheer too because, you know, usually, you know, when he make a, when we make a big play, you know, he's not, you know, he's mad at the defense. But now, you know, he's happy for us too. So, a lot of juice, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Washington, he's a great person. Do you all have the talent to repeat again? Oh, yes, sir. I believe so. We have, we have a lot of depth, and I feel like, you know, our guys come in and work each and every day. How are they doing that offensive line? I know Brandon Parker's off to the NFL now. Uh, who's gonna, who's got to step up and protect your backside? Uh, just not the offensive line, but everybody has to step up. Uh, it's just not just not them at all. You know, we left a lot of plays on the field uh, last year, and so, you know, we just got to come in, you know, this year and make those plays. Y'all are making your mark, but you can't talk A&T football without talking about Tariq Cohen. How's Tariq doing, man? Y'all talking to Tariq? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. He's doing well. Are y'all proud to see him represent on that next level? Uh, words can't even explain how proud I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, man. With that being said, y'all sound like you got a plan for repeating, but you know it's not going to be easy. Oh, no, sir. Great competition. Say what y'all want. You know North Carolina Central could care less what y'all say. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, right. <laughs> That's yeah. one game season. But do me a favor. Look at that camera right there and tell the folks at home watching why Aggie Pride ain't going nowhere. Just know, and y'all know as well at home, Aggie Pride is real, and we're ready to do the thing again, man. Just like Lamar said, Aggie Pride is real, and we're just trying to do it again. I got you. Well, I I'll say this, and this is coming from a Howard guy. North Carolina A&T football undefeated. North Carolina A&T is a university. I'll say it, the hottest thing in all of HBCU culture. They rolling down there in Greensboro, y'all. That's going to conclude our players' version of it. Thank y'all for joining us. When we come back, let's talk to the men in charge, the head coaches. And joining me first will be the head coach of the Savannah State Tigers, Eric Rayburn, when we return to the 2018 Mid-East Conference Media Day.